everybody, it's me, Fairy Godfather, also known as Matthew. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my monthly series following the West Knits MCAL for 2024, which is called the GoGo -Go Dynamo. I have just finished Clue 2 and I'm going to show it. So if you want, if you don't want spoilers, um, look away now. I'm going to show it. Then there will be the vlog of my journey, it, like through the past week of making this clue. And then at the end, um, if you saw last week's, I'm dedicating this shawl to my friend Shaka, who passed recently, who loved Halloween. I'm going to show you some pictures of his Halloween costumes, some of his Halloween costumes passed. And um, then I'm going to have some theories about where I think the shawl is going for here, because we're halfway through. Congratulations to you if you are done Clue 2 as well. All right, here we go. I'm going to do a bit of a, a lift and... Uh, Lift and pan, I guess I'm trying to say. So it's very, very long. Lots of people are commenting on that. So it's hard to um, get it all, like cords sort of aren't long enough. <laughs> I, I don't have a cord longer than this, but you can see, um, yeah, how it's looking. So if you're not familiar, uh, there were two options for this clue, uh, eyelets or brioche. Obviously I've done the brioche. I don't want to repeat myself too much, so why don't I just roll the clips? Here's how I, here's how I got to here. <laughs> Good morning, GoGo -Go Dynamo crew. It's Clue Two Day. Um, so it is, as I look around for the time, it's just after eight, I think. Yeah, it's eight thirty a.m. on Thursday, um, where I am, which is Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and. Um, we already knew that Clue 2 was going to start with the Mohair Dare. Um, but there are even more choices. You get to choose between brioche or eyelets. So I'm really excited to get started, but I have to kind of like make these cho these choices first. So um, first, let's talk about the Mohair. Okay, so I just, um, I'm not in a position to like buy more Mohair right now. There was um, some really nice skeins like that Songbird Yarn and Fibers does. There was one in particular that I thought would go nicely with these colors, but it would have been an extra, like, I think almost $40, and I just couldn't justify the expense. So I am looking in my stash, okay? So I did, <laughs> I did find this giant bag of mohair. Um... But the thing is that this is pulled, like, the reason it's in a bag like this and in these quantities is because, whoops, haha, um, <laughs> the reason it's in a bag like this and in these quantities is because I was going to do the Instant Crush, I believe, by Hohi Locatelli. And I might still do it someday, although... Anyway, that's, it's not about the MCAL, so I'm just going to that for another podcast. But basically, I'm not going to touch any of this mohair because it's all for that project. And it's mostly blue, which wouldn't look right. Like, the, in even this color. Mm, like, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Computer says no. Okay, so... Really all I have, I have an extra blue, but we're saying no to blue, I think. I have this sort of, like, acid green that in the sort of Halloween theme might make sense, like, but I don't know. The thing is, because I already essentially have yellow and red with the flex in the black, like, I don't think adding just a, you know, one, two, three, four, fifth color makes any sense. So I am also saying no to the green. So for actual mohair, that then leaves me with these two. This is just a sort of gray -y off white, which like, you know, fine. It might look spider webby, but I don't know, I don't know. I think it's a no. <laughs> I think it's a no for me for now. I thought I had black mohair, but I don't. So I do have this red, but it is like quite sort of dull compared to the actual red that is in this yarn. 
I did, I, I held like a little strand of it with my contrast color. So you, you also have the option, this clue is full of options, to, um, you know, you could hold the mohair with your contrast color or your main color, or you can literally replace your contrast color with the mohair, which I think will make a cool effect. Um, I just don't know if this color is like worth it. So, but I really want to take the dare. I've never done a mohair dare in any of my other uh, years doing the MCAL. And like I say, I think, I mean, I kind of like love the idea of eyelets, but it involves more stripes and I don't want to do more stripes. And I just want the practice with brioche and I do really enjoy brioche whenever I've done it. So I'm going to do the brioche option, at least for the first stripe. And then we can revisit, like, maybe, I could, maybe I'll want to do eyelets the second time. Um, so, yeah, I don't have, like, a mohair, but I do have this. This is La Bien Aime, so it's really nice. <laughs> um, and I got it when I did the... Um, uh, the Pure Mesh Pullover by James N. Watts, but I... I did the sizing wrong or I did something. It didn't fit me. And I've never pulled it out. Um, it's just sitting in a bag. And I have all of this left over. It's a one skein pattern. So like all of this is one skein. Um, but you can see how beautiful it is. Um, and it is actually pretty close to the yellows that are in here. So... Like I say, it's not mohair, but it's lace weight. And I think I'm going to do it. So I think for this first part of clue two, I'm going to choose the brioche. I'm going to replace my contrast color with this lace weight. Um, so this is my sort of mohair dare, even though it's not mohair. Um... I, you know, I don't feel like excessively confident in these choices, but um, with what I have before me and the knowledge I have before me, I think I, it's like enough to move forward. Look, that's going to look good, I think. And, and I think having the yellow section will break up some of the Halloweeniness. Not that I'm minding it, but I just, anyway. That's what I'm going to do, okay? Um, see you in a bit. So I had to go on um, a little work retreat that was happening last week. Um, <clears throat> I had to go uh, on Thursday, and it was overnight into Friday. So this is just me um, working on it. Um, you can see I've started the brioche, and um, yeah, I worked on it on the train, while I was transiting out there and I worked on it after I went to bed. Um, and yeah, I was just trying to make progress wherever I could because it takes a long time to do these clues and I didn't want to waste any time. So this is me um, knitting on transit. <clears throat> Hi, good morning. It is um, Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Um, I haven't done a ton, but uh, I've done enough to show you some. So I am doing the two color brioche option and I'm using this La Bien Aime lace weight. Uh, it's La Bien Aime yellow. It's not mohair, but it's just lace weight, as I've said. So um, I'm liking it, I think. It's, uh, it's cool how the yellow comes through and this is the, the wrong side. Um, I love brioche, I love doing brioche. Um, but last night, so I haven't had a lot of time. I've been doing it like on transit. Um, <clears throat> I had to go away on a little work trip yesterday. Um, like, anyway, over Thursday. <laughs> yeah, Thursday night, I was on a work trip into Friday. Last night, I was able to work on it. But I realized at some point last night that I was doing the wrong thing, that I was um, knitting with the contrast color when I should have been purling. 
and I was able to go back and see where I started making the mistake, which is here. So I have to tink back this much, uh, and then I just have the last two. Like I have to finish that right side row and then work the wrong side row twice, and then I'm out of the brioche section and um, can move on to the bubbles. And I basically think I'm just doing that twice for the rest of the clue. So yeah, I'm gonna work on it while I'm home. It's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada this weekend. I'm going to my parents and um, my aunt is coming over on Monday. Um, so I'll have a couple days at home, which will be nice and should give me time to work on this. So I'll probably see you there. Okay, bye. Hi. <clears throat> I feel like I have to sit so far away from the camera to get my face in the frame. Um, anyway, I just wanted to um, say a quick hello. It is Sunday morning. It is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, so I am visiting my parents for the weekend. Um, this is my uh, childhood bedroom, <laughs> what remains of it that I'm now in. Um, I am going along with Clue 2. Um, I chose the brioche option with that... Um, yellow. So on the wrong side, you get those nice columns of the contrast color, which I, some people were saying, oh, if I choose that option, then the most interesting part is going to be on the wrong side of the work. And I understand why they feel that way. That thought went through my head a couple times. I thought about flipping it because you kind of want to see the pretty contrast colors. But I know if you had mohair, it would actually be very thin and maybe kind of hard to see. And there is something nice about seeing those, you know, I don't know, I guess they're not floats, but whatever you call those, I guess it's the running yarn, um, in the brioche between the columns of the main color actually does look very nice. I'm really happy with how the yellow, like the yellow is just matching so nicely um, that I think I'm pretty into this. I wasn't expecting to have this much yellow in the shawl or to have this like change, but um yeah, I'm I'm excited and willing to see where it goes. Um, so I'm just, that was just the first section of Clue 2. Now I do another row of bubbles. And then I think I will probably do brioche again, but I'll come back and talk about it as I'm making that decision. You can choose between brioche and, or eyelets. Um, and then I think there's a third uh, row of bubbles. So it is still a lot of knitting. And like I say, it's Sunday morning already. Um, and it's, you know kind of busy days with family stuff and so on, but um, I'm still confident that I will be able to finish within the week, um, but it might be right up to the deadline. We'll see. Um, so that's where I am for now. Okay, talk later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Uh, it is Monday night, but it feels like Sunday because it was a long weekend. It was Thanksgiving. <clears throat> I just got back from being with my family, which was wonderful and which I'm grateful for and, um, you know, which is the the point of the holiday, um, but also a little exhausting and also meant I didn't have as much time to knit as I would have liked. Um, I am through, can I show it? Okay, this is the wrong side, but you'll get the idea. I'm through the first um, brioche and the first bubbles. I will flip it like this. Um, I thought about um, maybe trying a different color this time with the brioche, maybe trying the actual contrast color you know, I could have done something different, but I think, like, uh, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Symmetry has value, pattern has value. This is already a pretty busy shawl, like both um, by the design and the yarn that I chose. So I think using the same color again, uh, this the La Bianame yellow is uh, probably what's gonna look best and probably will best serve me over the long run. And I know, well, I've heard, I didn't see this myself, but I've heard that there are future opportunities um, for Mohair Dare later. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do the straight repeat. Um, I have poured myself a pumpkin beer <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna try to get in a few hours of this. And uh, I'll come back tomorrow morning, show you where I'm at, and I'm hoping to finish this clue tomorrow. Uh, okay, talk to you later. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning. I did not finish <laughs> the brioche section last night. You know, brioche is like, the rows are long. Uh, brioche is long because you have to do every row twice. Um, 
so it takes time. And like I said, I was pretty tired. So anyway, I got exactly halfway, um, like through row four. Um, I'm loving the way it looks though. I think it's gonna look great uh, once the, the other sections are done. So I'm really excited about where it's going. Uh, I just need to knit. So I am uh, gonna dive in right now. It's like, it's 10 to nine and um, I have most of the day free, but I have a lot of other stuff I have to do um, in terms of like some posting I have to do and I have to film and edit and post my um, Let's Knit Together video, which goes up today. So it's a bit of a busy day, but I am just gonna stay focused and just knit as much as I can, and here I go. Hi, sorry it's late and the lighting is terrible. Um, it is 20 after 8 p.m. And so yeah, I had a good day. I did everything that I needed to do, um, but I'm also very tired. I have now finished, I've just now, like just this second, finished um, section six. Uh, the brioche section, so yeah, I'm really like, I don't know, I'm like, I don't have words. Like, I, I'm surprised and amazed and kind of fascinated. I was not expecting, like, I was not expecting to use this yellow at all. That just came to me, um, you know, as you saw, but it really worked out. And so there's just one more um, bubble section to go. This is the back. So I'm going to keep working on it. Like I said, it's just, it's like 20 after eight. Sorry. It's 20 after eight. Um, but in these bubble sections, you basically just do eight rows of um, stockinette in the contrast color. I'm going to try to finish that tonight or at least get it started, at least get as far as I can. And then what would be great is if I just wake up in the morning, do the row where you like make the bubbles and that and then I would be done pretty early tomorrow morning and we'll hopefully get this video up. Um, so you know, last week I finished sooner. It, it seems like this time, well definitely, I'm just gonna finish the day before the new clue. But I'll take it, you know what I mean? It's like, it's better than it was last, like better than, it's, it's more keeping up with the intended pace of the MCAL than I have been able to do in previous years. Um, I'm not behind, which is great. Not that any of you are behind. If you're not at the same place, I'm not saying it about anybody else other than myself. Embrace your pace. But for me, it was it's just important to keep up, and I'm glad I'm going to be able to do that. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say for now. Um, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. Um, it's 10 a.m. I slept in a little bit, or I'm starting a little later than I intended. I also didn't get as far as I wanted last night. I only got um, two rows or two, like four rows of this contrast color. So I need to do four more and then the bubble stitch and the last little main color border um, to finish another row like this. So I'm gonna get to it now um, <clears throat> and just try to go straight through. It'll probably take a few hours. Um, and then I will, um, edit up the video and show you the final, uh, the final product. Okay, here I go. Hi, a little update. I'm almost there. I'm, I'm two rows away. Um, so I've just done my last, um, bubble row and, um, my bubbles are getting, uh, like tighter and poofier as I work on doing them, which is great. When I got to the end of the row, I was, um, two stitches over. I wasn't too worried about it. I just like did a couple decreases to get them out. But then when I was doing the wrong side row back, I realized what happened. <laughs> and it's, I have one extra long bubble here. So, you know, after every five stitches, you're supposed to do the stitch down. And obviously here, I just missed it. So I have a, a 10 stitch bubble. <laughs> um, uh, there's no way I was going back to fix it. I know I could, like, um, afterwards, I could take a little bit of my main color and just sew a little, like, stitch here to, like, um, make it look like, you know, and it would kind of bring this together a little bit. 
but it wouldn't have the dropped stitches on the wrong side. So anyway, I'm just gonna leave it as a um, unique design feature <laughs> of my shawl. I don't think anyone's really gonna notice that when you're when I'm wearing it, you know? Um, so I'm just gonna be really careful on this row. You're supposed to be at 409 stitches with the make one on either end. So as I go across now and do my last right side row, I'm gonna count carefully to make sure I have the 409. If I'm over or under, I will like make one or decrease one or whatever so that I know I'm at the right stitch count to start um, clue three tomorrow. <laughs> I'm into it and I'm enjoying it so much, but it is like a full-time job. It is so much knitting. If this were like regular life, I would just want a little break from this project and I would just take two or three days to work on something else. But, um, you know, I would get so far behind. So I will keep going with it. I, I really like it. Um, but it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Um, okay, I will check in again when I'm finished and doing my little wrap up. Um, see you soon. So here we are. Um, it's uh, it's just getting close to 3.30 now, so um, I still have some of the day left, although I have some errands I have to run. Um, but yeah, and then tomorrow morning, I'll be starting again on Clue 3. So <laughs> I'm gonna, my fingers and wrists are appreciating the short break that I will have from knitting on this. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put up some pictures of my friend Shaka, who loved Halloween. Uh, he, I am dedicating this shawl to his memory. And um, here's just some incredible ones. So he's been seven of nine. Um, he's been like, he was just really into like cosplay and Comic-Con and all that kind of stuff. I'll just put them up like, and it just gives you a, a some sense of one aspect of his personality and who he was as a person. But he loved Halloween. He was the first person who ever said to me, like, I think he asked me one time in like January, like, Dear, he called everybody dear. He'd say, dear, like, what are you going to be for Halloween? And I was like, Shaka, it's it's January 20th. Like, I don't know yet. And he's like, you're not serious. You're not serious. And he, to him, if you like, if you didn't have on November 1st, your Halloween costume plan for the following year, you just weren't serious about Halloween. Um, he really, really loved it. So um, yeah, it's just fun. Like, I like that the yellow, like, changed things up a bit as that second brioche color, but it still is sort of, overall like Halloween vibes or at least somewhat or it's open to that interpretation. Someone commented that they thought my um, bubbles looked like little pumpkins which is kind of fun. So anyway I did want to show that and then I said I would kind of um, theorize about where we're going from here. I'm not at all sure but like it's very long and it's almost rectangular you know what I mean <laughs> like we had, once we joined all the semicircles and the wedges, we have this sort of like, it's, it's very hard to show. And I wish I had the technological and manual abilities to draw. I would try to draw, but I don't know that I can. But so we have this very long bottom edge and then we have slowly increased. So there's a slight taper up. So it's basically like a big, um, what is that? A rhombus, a parallelogram? No. Parallelograms are like that, right? Both sets. Of, anyway, whatever it is. <laughs> a pyramid? A rhombus. I think it's a rhombus. I don't know. Anyway, so like bottom, sides like this, and then a longer top. So I'm just trying to think about how it's going to go on the body. I was thinking it, it wouldn't be able to wrap around, but I mean, it can. But what am I trying to say? <laughs> We're doing incredibly long rows. If we were to continue in the manner of clue two, we would just be adding like more bubbles and maybe like different patterns. Like instead of brioche, there probably is gonna be like a lace section or, you know, another eyelet section or whatever. And it might be like that, but if it just builds like that, doing these long, 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 long rows the whole time, it's gonna end up quite, like it's just a strange shape. Like it, I, I just, I just don't think it's gonna be like that. What I think, either either clue three will like continue with the live stitches 
we'll do a bit more stuff, like I'm saying, another pattern. Like, I'm really hoping for cables. Twists and turns had cables in it. I love cables. West knits gods, let there be cables. So we could do more like that, bind off, pick up on the cast on edge, and then do a long point. So the whole thing would be more like a big triangle. I actually don't think that's it. I think we are done with the cast on edge. I think we're gonna get like two, <laughs> like off this long edge, we're gonna get two points or like swirls or one this way, one this way. If they're beside each other, like I hope that that's all one clue and that they're symmetrical or that this is clue three and this is clue four and that they're very different. Um, but I really don't know. Often at the end, there's an option to add fringe or tassels. And I could just see that a tassel at the center of each semicircle and maybe at the end of each wedge would look really nice. So I'm kind of thinking that that is going to be like the tasseled frilled edge, which even more makes me think that we're going to come to some sort of point. Maybe it's going to be like a, a crescent situation. I don't know. I'm very curious. I'm very excited. What do you think? How is your MCAL going? Please let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the yarn I chose for my brioche and if you have strong opinions about the brioche option versus the eyelets option. Um, I'm really hoping that some people combined them. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's been a great clue too. I'm still loving this MCAL. It's still my favorite of the three. Um, both like my yarn choices and the design are taking me in really unexpected directions. Um, and I'm very, very excited to see how this develops. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to all the new faces and hello again to all my regulars. Um, I'm just so delighted and moved every time that you choose to join me here. Thank you so much. And I'll be back again next week with my Clue 3 video, um, as well as posting other content on the channel. Um, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.